Hello, it's Paulina here at Denami for sneak peek number two here on the Denami blog and YouTube channel. Today we're going to be featuring some of our new border stamp sets. I'm excited we have five stamp sets that feature different borders and um, they're all very unique and different but yet also super fun and really great with a lot of the current Denami stamps that we have and some of the new ones that we have coming out. So I wanted just to show you a peek at some of the different sets. Here's the first one. Um, this one is CL slash BD001 Decorative Borders 1. And um, here's a little closer view. I just love this set. Um, this one is quickly becoming one of my favorite ones. Um, and it's just really great for different borders and backgrounds and things like that for your cards. So I'm going to flip it over. You can see just how nicely close they are cut out. I'm going to show you a couple more of the sets. I don't want to show you all of them, so you'll be sure to stay tuned to the Denami block. Here's another one that we have. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I'm really into chevron patterns right now, so this one is one of my favorites. Um, and then we have this really fun background here, and then we have a larger argyle. So there you can see there. And the way we cut it out, you can see that you can easily line them up, which I'll show you in um, the video later on. And I wanted to show you one more of the sets. So here's this one. It's really big. Um, and this one is great because you can use it um, to create your own line papers. Um, and you can do different sentiments. If you were doing scrapbooking, you can stamp this multiple times and write in your different thoughts or memories um, that correspond with the different photos. So I'm going to flip it over. You can see just they're nicely packaged and the lines are just so nice and clean and I just love this one. Um, I wanted to show you a, different, a couple of different cards that I've done with these new stamp sets. So here's one I featured on my blog a couple days ago and it has the chevron background. And then we also, I featured um, the stamp set here. I used this stitched one here and that's how I was able to create this background. So I just stamped it all across um, one way and then I just flipped my paper over and did it the other way. So it's this nice fun little pattern. Um, here's another card that I'll be featuring on the blog today. And this one features the chevron again. And then I used the polka dot background that we've had um, from a previous release. And then you'll see some of the new stamps here. And then the new border that I am just obsessed with. I used it here. Um, I used it um, sideways and then I used them in the new butterflies and a new sentiment and then I use the twine too um, one of the new products that we'll be carrying that I'm really excited about so you can see and I just added some glitter so really simple card um, here's two more cards that I have this one here features some old and new I used our new scallop stamp set um, it has three different size scallops and I just used them as waves I thought that was a really fun unique kind of idea and then I used you know our old rainbow and the small cloud, so this is a fun one. And lastly, I used this, the, uh, that border that I really like. I used it in a unique way where I actually created little patterns. So let me pull out, let me pull out my stamp so you can kind of give you an idea of how I did it. Okay, so here I stamped it this way, and then I just turned it and I stamped it this way. So I just did that multiple times with the the image in just different colors. I used like a smoky gray, I used an orange, a lime, and a blue here. So you can do this with like girl colors, you can do pinks and reds and purples and things like that. So I thought that was just a really fun, unique way on how to use the stamp. Okay, so let me get started and just show you how easily you can line these stamps up. So here's my piece of white cardstock, and I'm going to start off with my favorite chevron. So I'm going to use the purple Versafine here. I'm just going to stamp it at the top. And then I'm going to clean it off. I'm just using a baby wipe. And then I'm going to do it another color. I'm going to use the Olympia Green Versafine this time. And then you can see exactly where the image is because of the points that we've done. And that's where you're just going to want to line up and make sure it's nicely evenly spaced. And then just continue on the pattern. You can see it's just really 
fun. I'm going to do one other color here. I'm going to use the Majestic Blue Versafine. And again, we'll just line it up the same way. So you can see here all the different colors. Um, you can do different like, gradients. You can even do gradients of like a light blue and then a little medium blue and then a darker blue. Um, a really fun background. You can do a tone on tone. I've done that um, with that pink card that I had. Here, I'll show you right here. You can see I just did a tone on tone with the pink. Um, so it's a really fun one and I really just enjoy this set. Um, another one that I wanted to show you is... can find it. Okay, so it's going to be this set here. Okay. Here's my opened one. And like I showed you in the last video, I just, once I remove the backing, I just place it back in the same bag so I know exactly where the stamps are. And here's the one I'm going to pull out for this one. I'm just grab my acrylic block once again. And you'll just want to be sure you have a nice long one. Um, and I can show you exactly because the stamps they're all about the same length so they're about five and an eighth so as long as your your wood block here it's like this one's a little bit over six inches so if you get something similar to that size then you'll be good to go okay so here I'm just going to add that here and I'll just use the purple And again, you just you know, quickly ink up the stamps and just line it up. I just love how this design is so simple, but yet it adds so much to your cards. Okay, and so like you've seen in the butterfly one here, I had it here. Um, I just turned it sideways, you know, just stamp it a few, I stamped it actually five times so I would know exactly where I wanted the twine. And then I just grabbed three different colors of twine. So you can do the same thing with this longer piece, you can add the twine. Um, and then you can also add, if you were to space out these images a little bit more. You can actually add like a sentiment right over there. So let me grab one of my sentiments. Here's the praying for you. I'm just going to just add that to the middle here. So it's just a really fun design. Um, I can see it used for scrapbook pages. How fun would that be to just have these different backgrounds and borders um, all across the different papers? You can do it all sorts of different shades. Um, so be sure to stay tuned because a lot of the design team members have done cards today. We have Michelle and Dana and then myself. We've all done cards using um, lots of the different stamp sets with these borders. So you'll want to be sure to stay to the, the NAMI blog. And also we have a giveaway. And this is a really big giveaway. So you'll definitely want to check that out. Um, thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow for our birthday sneak peek. And if you missed the post that we had yesterday, we featured the new butterflies. So be sure to um, go back and check that out as well. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.